Is this the signing that takes Spurs to the next level? In this video, we'll be looking at the specific role which we feel Spurs lack, why this role is so important, and who we could potentially buy to fill this void. But first, please subscribe if you are new. Please also like the video at the end if you enjoyed this, as it really helps with the growth we are trying to create on this channel. So what is this missing role that top of the table Spurs are lacking, you may ask? Well, we believe a 1v1 specialist winger is a vital role to this side and something still missing from the squad. Although Spurs have been absolutely excellent this season, there have been some clear examples of times where there has been something small missing from that front three. Something that really helps in chance creation, especially against low blocks. And that is a winger who can consistently stand up his opposite fullback and dribble past them often using a combination of acceleration and ball manipulation or body feints. With Ange tending to use very narrow, double inverted fullbacks, the wingers are relied on to keep the width. This creates space in the half spaces for our number eights, but it also pulls the opposition back four wider, often creating gaps in their back line for those number eights or the striker to exploit. With our fullbacks, usually Poro or Dodgy, having their starting positions pretty narrow and inside the pitch, their opposition winger often tends to follow them inside, which then creates a free passing lane directly into the winger who is likely to be 1v1 with his fullback. This is because our fullbacks have dragged their opponents inside, creating lots of space for our wingers on the flanks. Here is where a 1v1 specialist thrives. They have their fullback isolated and the time to stand them up and beat them to advance towards the penalty area. This would be especially important against low blocks, where space is often left out wide and therefore bits of magic from those areas are vital to break the deadlock. If you want to see more about breaking down low blocks, go and see our previous video we posted. So what skill set is required for a 1v1 specialist? 1. Acceleration and pace from a standing start. 2. Dribbling ability and flair. 3. The ability to go both the outside and the inside and four, good end product both when cutting it back from the byline or when cutting in to shoot. While Spurs have some capable 1v1 wingers on our books, we don't have anyone who is elite in all these aspects. Kulisewski is competent, but his best work comes in combination play and cutting inside to cross or shoot. Brennan Johnson thrives when there is space in behind that he can use his blistering pace to exploit, but he lacks the intricacy and skill for 1v1s, while Richarlison and Solomon lack that elite quality you were looking for. Brian Hill, although a good 1v1 dribbler, is unproven in this league and I feel he lacks the physicality and speed to be a consistent threat. Perisic is our best fit here, but he's not only injured, but also ageing and likely on his way out. When examining our front three, I see Kulisevsky as being one of our best players and in my opinion has a huge ceiling. I feel he's vital for the team and therefore should retain his place in the starting eleven. So, I see this potential winger target as being a left winger rather than a right winger. So here are Lily White Lab's top three potential winger options who fit the role well but are also realistic. In third place we have Armand Loriente. Loriente is a Frenchman who currently plays in Serie A at Sassuolo. He's a player who is hugely unpredictable in 1v1 due to his ability to go both ways when on the touchline. He has that raw pace and power meaning he's devastating over the first few yards. His ball striking from range is impressive and unique. He's able to generate swerve and dip when he shoots, making him effective when cutting onto his right. There are some concerns around Loriente though, specifically in his decision making, where he can be over eager at times to get a shot off. Sometimes he needs to calm down a bit in the final third. Also, his finishing can be inconsistent. In second place, we have Antonio Nusa, a Norwegian international despite being just 18 years old. Nusa broke through at Belgium side Club Bruges this season and hasn't looked back since. Even though he's so young, in my eyes, by the summer, he'll be ready for the step up. Nusa has rapid pace and acceleration, which means he's a nightmare for fullbacks to deal with. He's a player who relentlessly attacks his fullback and is always looking to create something from those opportunities. His flair and ball manipulation mean he's hard to contain and at just 18, his ceiling is scary. Of course, the age does come with some downside though, as there are concerns around if he's ready or not to make the step up. Also, with such an explosive season, he'll be a very sought-after player, which may make the transfer difficult. But in first place, and in my eyes, the best choice for Spurs to chase is young Spaniard Nico Williams, a player whose contract actually expires this summer from his boyhood club Athletic. Williams has been tearing up trees for a couple years now and is genuinely the perfect option. His ambidexterity massively helps as he's able to remain unpredictable in the 1v1s, making him a huge threat. He's comfortable both going down the line to cross it or cutting inside and shooting. He 
He's skillful, quick, and has played at a higher level than the other two, being part of Spain's World Cup squad. This all seems perfectly lined up, doesn't it? So what are the issues with this transfer? I expect him to potentially sign a new contract with Athletic, making the fee potentially much higher. Athletic are a club who don't sell cheap or at all, due to their family-type player policy of only having Basque players. Therefore, their players are often extremely loyal. It's hard to see Nico Williams running down his contract and not helping provide a fee for Athletic Club. Overall though, I believe these are just three of many 1v1 specialists on the market right now who would improve us. These are just my top three, but the likes of Brian Zaragoza, Kamaldine Suleimano are some other options I like. I would also say this is a transfer that should be left until the summer. Our forward line is extremely bloated as of now, therefore I'd like to see us offload two of Richarlison, Solomon, Perisic or Hill before making this move. We don't want to get in a place we've previously been where we are left with excessive dead wood. Thanks for watching, please hit that like and subscribe button and keep an eye out for more Spurs related analysis coming very soon.